Made a little progress on the airplane this morning. Still waiting on the rest of the parts for the control stick, but I did get to finish out the hinges that hold the control stick in there. They're pretty much done. Got the bushings in it. The uh, step drill I picked up from Harbor Freight that goes up to 7 eighths worked perfect. Got the holes real close for the bushing, and then I just used a flap wheel to enlarge them just enough that they slide in there nice tight fit now we just got to make sure the 7 8 tube goes through the center next step i think i'm going to trace out the pattern for the fuel tank and get that cut out of the metal because i did. We've got the four patterns for the tank all traced out off the plans because the plans were full size so just made a copy of them i think what i'll do now is just do a rough i'll just mark this to where I can cut out four rough chunks of aluminum with the nibbler. And then I'll take it and trace it accurately and then head to the bandsaw. Cut these four pieces out. Alright, the four tank pieces are rough cut. Now it's time to take them over and smooth everything out with the belt sander. All the pieces are cut out, sanded, and I've got the one end piece I think this would be the front this is the smaller one I've got the bends around the outside edge and along the bottom I ended up making a plywood form to put in there to hammer the bend on the curve part the rest of it I've just got stuff like this and just little pliers and hammered it and tapped it into place no problem on the straight edges but the top the form worked out really good to hammer it in place next we'll do the other end and then i'll do the bottom which has to fit up along here for the drop center okay we've got the metal form i had this originally clamped down on the edge of the bench here to start the fold in now I'm just holding it down and working around the edge with the shaping hammer. And when you're doing that, it's stretching the metal here, so it's expanding it and it's warping the panel. So I'm going to go over to the shrinker and shrink that down as I'm doing this so this will be nice and flat once it gets done. Oops, piece of shit. Oops. Morty, you farted in my video. How was I supposed to do? And now just some more shrinking. It's pretty flat. At least flat enough to get it, you know, the rest of it put on there and then get it riveted together or tack welded or whatever I need to do before I start welding. Yeah, the bottom bend here I just did over on the brake since it was easy to get to. These two little side bends just come in a pair of pliers. Straighten them up. You do have to cut a notch right there. This piece has to fit in the drop center. So you gotta make sure it's the right size. Now I think I'm gonna come up with a straight edge and clamp that to the table and hammer these side pieces up.
pretty much ready. There, I've got the bend lines marked on this bottom panel for the drop center. So we've got to bend this up and then we'll bend these back out where it will fit that, hopefully. Okay, now we're making the bend on the other side to flatten out the bottom. And the way that bend is, you can't stick it in like the brake. So what I've got here is a piece of one inch tubing, just some scrap I had, a two by four on this side. So we're gonna bend that down. I did the first side, it worked really well. One thing that when you're getting inventive like this, I like to use a uh, drywall blade. And you can poke that in there and start working that down. And it will help that bend along the line where you want it. Once you get it that far along, you just use a block of wood and your hammer and finish it off. And now you've got the drop center for the tank. Now we need to fold these edges up quarter inch in like we flanged everything else and that'll be easy because we can mark it and do it on the big break. Okay, the side flaps are on. Okay, I got the edges bent up and now it slides together like like so. And we can rivet this in a few places and then all of the seams will be TIG welded. The smaller front piece goes here just like this one and then that piece folds around the top. On the top piece, we've got a filler neck and cap that goes in there. Cut a hole and weld it in place and then we have a threaded bung to put on the bottom for the fuel outlet. And here we have both the front and the back pieces. Test fit together. Everything looking real good. A couple of little taps here and there. Once you start putting a few rivets in to hold in place, it'll line up just beautiful. Let's see what it looks like setting in the plane. Looks like it ought to work nicely. Well, I'm going to stop here for today, at least for this video, because that's about all the time I've got. Next step will be, should be doing final fitting and putting a few rivets in, getting it to where I can weld it.